how I do love cemeteries. I find them a wonderful place to relax with friends. Verdugal Hill Cemetery? Ooh, some people say it's haunted. I'm Linnea Quigley, and you're watching Paranormal Truth. Hello, my name is Patrick Allen, and this is Linnea Quigley's Paranormal Truth, a series of films where we delve into the paranormal world of the unknown. In this episode, we are going to investigate the scary world of the Verdugo Hills Cemetery and the Queen Mary ship. Verdugo Hills Cemetery is host to occult rituals, the desecration of bodies, grave robbing, and a place so vile it was the inspiration for the film Poltergeist. Can this be the most unholy graveyard in the world? The Verdugo Hills of Peace Pioneer Cemetery, or Verdugo Hills Cemetery, located in Tahunga, Los Angeles, California, opened in 1922 and closed in 1976. Established by Marshall Valentine Hartramp, who also founded the utopian community of Tahunga, the cemetery reflects the early history of its community and holds the remains of many early Tahunga residents. The site is located on hilly terrain, affording a panoramic view of the San Fernando Valley and is home to several distinctive types of trees. On February 10th, 1978, after days of torrential rains, a massive landslide occurred in the San Gabriel Mountains foothills above Tahunga. The result was the unearthing of a large section of the cemetery and corpses being strewn throughout the area. Responding to complaints from residents, the city spent more than $200,000 to collect and store the corpses while constructing a retaining wall to prevent another landslide. According to former Los Angeles County Coroner, Thomas Naguchi, some 100 bodies rode a muddy wave into homes, businesses, and streets. He recalled that one of the bodies was wedged into the door of a supermarket. When officials arrived, bodies were scattered everywhere. Some were even standing grotesquely upright. The intensely difficult task of trying to identify the remains and rebury them under their correct headstones took months to complete. The city of Los Angeles repaired the grounds, but heavy rain unearthed another five corpses in 1980. Grave robbery, tomb robbery, and tomb raiding is an act of uncovering a grave tomb or crypt to steal potentially valuable items. It is usually committed to take artifacts or personal property. A related act of body snatching is a term denoting the unlawful removal of a body, not often from a grave, which can be extended to the illegal extraction of just the organs. The historic ship RMS Queen Mary, permanently docked in Long Beach, California, is a popular destination for ghost hunters and paranormals, since it has long been reported to be haunted by a whole array of former passengers. The Queen Mary is considered by many to be the world's most haunted ship, and has been declared by Time Magazine to be one of America's top 10 most haunted places. The ship served as a military transport during World War II, so the spirits of sailors joined the ghosts of well-heeled guests on the luxury ocean liner turned hotel and attraction. There are self-guided tours where you may encounter paranormal beings and more intense guided tours with the Queen Mary's resident para-investigator. And a stateroom that gives many people the chills will soon open for guests. The Queen Mary's most haunted suite was closed 30 years ago. And CBS 2's Craig Herrera is live in Long Beach with a sneak peek. He's so brave, correct? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Pat. Hi, Suzanne. When you said chills, I had them all day up and down my arms. This is it. This is the room. Room B340. This was completely gutted out back in the 80s. Now you can see it's completely redone and ready to go. By the way, this is a, the ship's call or the uh, log with a lot of the paranormal activity. As you know, the Queen Mary is known as a haunted ship, and that's been known worldwide. Soon, guests will be able to stay in here overnight and decide for themselves. The Queen Mary, long known for its paranormal activity, and if these walls could talk... Many, many stories and legends revolve around this room. 
Legend says room B340 has a checkered past. While she was still sailing, there is a story that a man was found dead in his cabin. She sailed from 1936 to 1967 before resting at the port of Long Beach. Becoming a hotel, one guest claimed the sheets were pulled off the bed. She sat up and she saw a man standing at the foot of her bed. Others said the bathroom door closed by itself, but that's not all. In the early years of the hotel when this room was being used, passengers also reported uh, water going on and off, lights turning on and off. The final encounter? Story is the housekeeper came in and put fresh sheets on the bed. Uh, she went out in the hall to get clean towels. When she came back, the sheets had been pulled from the bed and were laying in a pile on the floor. Nobody else was near? No one else was around, no. It was the mid-1980s, and that's when this room was closed to guests, until now. Every day I walk the ship, I see guests, and they want B340. Now it's two rooms combined into one suite. It'll come with some amenities that are not in any other state room, such as some Ouija boards and some tarot cards. And for the right price, you could stay here overnight if you dare. All right, and you're taking a look now at the closet uh, in one of these rooms in this suite. Uh, by the way, the reason that they feel there's so much paranormal activity is that this room is very close to the first class swimming pool. And they believe, paranormalists believe that there's a vortex there that allows some of the spirits to travel between dimensions. So this room is very close to that area. Of course, it opens up on Friday, February I'm sorry, uh, Friday the 13th, April 13th in Pat and Suzanne. You can stay here. The starting rate is at $4.99 per night. So of course, people can start booking this room. And it's interesting. This is on Friday the 13th. We'll see who stays here first. We are spending the night in one of the most haunted ships in the world, the Great Ghost, a.k.a. the Queen Mary. I am happy to name the ship the Queen Mary. What'd you find? Put these underwears, dude. Right? <laughs> oh shit! What the fuck? Dude. Oh, paranormal pennies. <laughs> <laughs> on the digital recorder. This one scared the shit out of me. Oh. Okay. What the fuck is this 
From the Queen Mary ship in Long Beach to the southern campus of the Rancho Los Amigos Hospital, which is only a few miles away. But the Hollydale Mental Hospital or the Downey Insane Asylum in contemporary times could be a world apart from the institution. However, the walls of this once great facility paint an incorrect picture of the hospital's past use, which was much broader than just caring for the mentally ill. It was built in 1888 as a catch-all institution for the Los Angeles County Medical Center, a place to care for the handicapped, homeless, insane, and elderly. I've been to Rancho Los Amigos Abandoned Insane Asylum numerous times. Reason I come back? Because it never disappoints with the creepy and, yes, scary experiences I've had in there. Make a noise. Can you make a noise to let us know you're here?
어, 어, 어. 음. Is there someone right here? 
was nothing, but I thought I just saw someone standing in that room. I fucking swear. Tom. Was that you, Tom? I swear to God, dude. I kind of want to go check, but I'm kind of okay. scared, dude. Go check. What room does one? Yeah. Tom, are you in here? Are you okay with this train? Wave, oh my god. Oh shit, I got the fucking chills right now. Nice to meet you, Tom. Can you show yourself? Tom, as I was passing by your room, I saw you standing in the corner. Can you please show yourself? Is there anybody in the hallway? Jesus or Tom? Oh, someone popped out, dude. Did you peek out at us? You can come out of the room. What did it say? Oh, dude, there's someone in there. Look at... Mm -hmm. Tom, is that you? It disappeared. As you walked in there, it was right there, right next to you. Look how dark it is, guys. I can't see anything. Whoa! There was someone right in front. Look! Mm -hmm. Dude, look at that. It's in the doorway over there. Who are you? It's standing by the door, look. Oh shit. It disappeared, dude, it jumped that way. Again, I am leaving with awesome evidence and eerie personal experiences. I know Jasmine will never forget this intense and creepy night.